there guys welcome back to my channel today we are playing around with the shark flex style this video will be a unique review of the air wrap technology on this product because i will be showing you how it performs on two different heads of hair yes i did play around with this quite a bit while my hair was still very long and unhighlighted virgin long hair you'll see exactly how this product performed and we're testing it out on my new short hair so hopefully this video adds lots of value you get all the information your little heart so desires so without further ado let me show you how the air wrap technology works on super long hair and how well it wears how long it lasts starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and i did apply the briogeo blowout heat protectant cream i think it's called it's this product right here i love this product for when i choose to blow dry my hair straight i feel like it adds beautiful amounts of heat protection it is curly hair friendly so if you're looking for a sulfate silicone and drying alcohol free heat protectant when you blow dry your hair this is a good option. All right, just brushing out my hair, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, I forgot how long my hair used to be. Wow, how did I already forget? All right, I'm going in with the Flex Style Concentrator Nozzle and I'm just going to twist the top to turn it into kind of a blow dryer. How fun is that? And I will be turning it on. There is the on switch and I'm double checking that I'm using high speed and high heat. I will just be giving my hair a rough blow dry to get it to about 80% dry. I feel like that works best for the air wrap technology. I also really enjoy having my AirPods in and listening to a podcast while I dry my hair. Anybody else? All right, now I'm just going to section off my hair before going in with the air wrap technology. That works way better than trying to do it all in one ginormous section, especially when my hair was long and it felt like I had way more hair. Using an, is this called an alligator clip? I think this is called an alligator clip to secure my section. Now I'm going in with the right air wrap barrel and clicking that into place and grabbing a very small section of my hair. If your sections are too big, it will not work. So I'm using the right barrels on the right side of my head so that the curls curl away from my face. That's what all the influencers tell me to do so that I look pretty. Also, I find that it is kind of tricky to keep the ends tucked in. I kind of keep having to scooch my hair up the barrel and I feel like the barrels weren't quite long enough for my super long hair. I'm leaving it on high speed and high heat for a few seconds, and I'm kind of going by feel. I don't want my hair to get incredibly hot, but I do want it to get fairly warm before I reach over and press the cold shot button, and I hold that until I feel like my hair's completely cool. I do kind of pull the curl out and then rewrap it so that it's nice and smooth and then allow it to chill out in on my back while I do the rest of the sections. Again, just grabbing a little bit more hair. I find it works better when I grab the ends and then let it kind of wrap up the barrel on its own. See, I'm kind of pushing the hair up so that it will stay wrapped around somewhat. After playing around with it, I found that that was how I had the best luck in getting it to grab my hair. Letting it stay nice and hot until I feel like it's thoroughly warm and dry, like completely dry, because we're starting with 80%, and then I grab the cold shot button and hold that until I feel like it is completely cool. I think you're supposed to turn it off when you go to pull it out so that it doesn't kind of blow your curls everywhere, but ain't nobody got time for that. All right, we're just gonna speed through the rest of the sections. I will not be trimming any of that out so that you can see the whole process. I do remove the barrel and switch to the left barrel for the left side of my hair so that, again, I'm curling the curls away from my face. I take roughly three curls per side per section. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's four, but it's roughly three. There's a back, a middle, and a front section that I curl, and that 
seems to work the best. If I get two sections, the chunks are too big and it won't wrap around the air wrap. And if I use any smaller sections, then I don't get any more benefit. Now I'm just doing the left side of the next section. It minimizes the amount of times that I have to switch out the barrel. So you'll see that I will do the right side twice when I go to do the top section. I hope that makes sense. All right, this is really fast. This is kind of fun to watch it in super speed. I also hope that it is helpful because then you are seeing me do my entire head. I always find that when I personally am watching these tutorials, I'm like, I, I kind of wanted to see the whole process, like all of it, all the sections. How did you grab each little individual piece? But also, this is YouTube. This is 2023 and if things don't move fastly, People click out of videos and quit watching them, and that's not helpful either. All right, going on to the last section, you see I did not switch the barrel from the right again. I'm doing a few sections with the right barrel before I'm going to switch it back to the left and curl these last few sections away from my face, but kind of to the left because that's where my part goes. I am noticing that these top sections are a lot easier to do because I had nice short layers Wow, I can't get over how long my hair used to be. I'm still reeling from that fact. I am loving how short it is now. All right, here is the final result. Right after finishing with the air wrap, I am not going to comb this through. I'm not going to pull the curls out. I'm just gonna let it live its life like this. It took a total of 23 minutes to achieve this look. It's very shiny, very bouncy, and I feel like for 23 minutes of curling my hair, I would have liked for it to be curlier, but let's just take a quick moment to appreciate that Courtney does not look cute with the middle part. Sorry, can't do it. This is what the hair is looking like after eight hours of wear. Is this beautiful? Yes, this looks very, very nice, but in my mind, I was curling my hair this morning, and I would have liked for it to look more curled than this. I feel like it was a lot of work for not the curls, but it is kind of a loose, wavy, pretty blowout. All right, now let's take a look at how it works on short hair, how well it lasts, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Alrighty, we're starting off again with freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. I do have the Briogeo heat protectant in it, but I'm also adding just three drops of the Verb Ghost Oil. Wow, okay, everyone was singing this product's praises and I never understood it when my hair was unhighlighted, but now that my hair is highlighted, oh my goodness, this is a game changer. This product is so lightweight, it really helps detangle my hair. It does contain some silicones and I think that is why my hair loves it so much right now. My hair cuticle is quite roughed up, from the highlights and it just helps smooth that cuticle down, really helps me to tangle my hair. I've been loving it. So I'm using it today. Brushing everything through so that it is nice and smooth, a nice canvas for the rough blow dry, just like last time with the long hair. I am using high speed and high heat. I'm just gonna be shooting for 70% dry. With my shorter hair, I find that my hair has to be slightly more damp for the air wrap technology to work. Now I've got my first section taken care of and I'm grabbing just a T9C little bit of hair and using the left curling barrel since I'm curling on the left side of my head and doing my first section. This is hard with short hair. You have to hold the barrel really close to your head. I'm also having to hold the rest of my hair out of the way so that it doesn't get sucked up into the barrel and kind of make a giant, giant curl. I want my curls to be sort of defined and not all chunked together. Grabbing tiny little sections with my short hair, I found to be quite hard, quite difficult. Keeping everything organized was quite the trick. You can see here what I'm talking about. It's trying to grab more hair than I was trying to give it. So I am doing the same thing. I'm letting it heat up. I'm using high speed and high heat for about 10-ish seconds. Again, I'm going by feel. And then I hold the cold shot button until my hair is completely cool. So here I'm chatting with my husband. He had a quick question. Hello, husband. 
and I've got that one side done, switched to the right barrel, and now I'm doing the right section. I'm not gonna trim anything out, so you can see exactly how I do it, but it is gonna be sped up, and you can see that I'm saying ow here. That is because this is really hot. When your hair is short, you're holding the barrel much closer to your head. Guys, I kept burning myself. I, 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 maybe I should have turned the heat down, but I didn't. It's hot. All right, just holding it in place until I hold the cold shot button and continuing with my sections. With my hair being shorter, I found that I had to grab way more sections per side. When my hair was longer, I could grab roughly three sections per side and get it done. This, I feel like I had to grab five or six. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but with my hair being shorter, it seemed to work better if I grabbed smaller sections. I have tried this several times and smaller sections with shorter hair was better than larger sections. I am such a goof. Just checking the back to make sure I didn't miss any pieces because for whatever reason today, I was really struggling. On to the very last section, just finishing up here, going to the left, curling things away from my face. I do like how I can kind of curl up at the root and create some root lift, sort of, kind of. I feel like I'm creating root lift. And I am just sticking with that left barrel. I'm not switching to the right just yet. I think I will for the very last section. Yes, what do you know, I did. And just finishing up the right section of my part and twirling everything together because I want those curls to cool all wrapped together. Finally, I am done. It took a total of 28 minutes. And I really think that's because I was struggling to keep my sections sectioned properly. So that is what it's looking like right after I'm done. And it felt like it was flipping out on me and I kind of wanted it to flip under. So I'm just gonna kind of sculpt those curls just a little bit. Yes, I know with the long hair, I didn't comb out the curls, but I'm combing out the curls for this one to kind of get it to lay a little bit less crazy. So here is what it's looking like right after I'm done with the air wrap on my nice short highlighted hair. Taking a break from the voiceover to jump in and show you my very tired face and how the hair wore throughout the day because I kind of wanted to say this in person. I am getting serious Lucy from Charlie Brown vibes right now with my hair. It's very 1950s something. Why? Oh, 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 this is a look. I'm not sure I am feeling this style. It's not what I was envisioning or had hoped for or was going for. I definitely liked it way better earlier on in the day. It has its benefits. It's not terrible. It's kind of cute, but it it's definitely sticking, flipping out on the sides instead of being nice barrel curls. I'm gonna take my tired face and go beat it right now because I'm hungry. All right guys, here are my final thoughts on this product. Is it fun? Yes, it is so fun to watch the hair wrap around. It does take some getting used to. You do have to play around with it a little bit to get used to it, especially if you're like me and have way more experience with a standard regular curling iron. Will this, in my mind, justify the price tag when you get similar results with a curling iron? Probably not. This is more of just a novelty kind of item. It's fun to watch your hair wrap around basically. I do love the portability of this product. Like this is a hair dryer. It turns into a hair dryer. The diffuser on this is actually very good. It's awesome. So for a one-stop shop sort of tool, yes, it does justify the price. I do like it as an all-in-one hair tool. If you only want to have one hair tool in your house, this is the most versatile thing I have ever played around with. That being said, if I'm going to go through the agony 
of curling my hair, I want it to last all day and into the next day. Are there things that I could be doing to increase the longevity of my curls? Yes, I could be spraying them down with hairspray. I could be using hold stylers in my hair and I'm not doing that because I wanted to see how well the curls would hold on their own with no help. Yes, I could increase the hold, but even still, I feel like a curling iron holds better than, than, than this. <laughs> that being said, I haven't used a curling iron in years, but I like to minimize using heat on my hair. I don't wear my hair styled this particular way that often. This is a once in a blue moon sort of fun thing. Normally I enjoy styling my hair wavy curly. You got to see how it performed on long hair and short hair. All right guys, I sure hope this video was helpful to you. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. If this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that, yes, this was helpful. Thanks, Courtney. It also really helps out the channel, which I greatly appreciate. And if you wanna hang out some more, feel free to subscribe, click that notification bell. Why? Because YouTube likes to hide videos from you. And if you click the notification bell, it tells YouTube, hey, hey, I really do want to see these videos, please. <laughs> so we can hang out more in future videos because I would love to see your bright and shining face around here again soon. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.